All right, today we're looking at another, this was an estate auction find. And what these are is a couple of topping models from the early 1960s. And if you're not familiar with topping models, they made a lot of desktop models, contract contractor models. These are not uh, kit models that you would build. They were ones that were pre-assembled. You'd see them in everything from NASA to travel agencies so a whole different variety and this first one here this is the uh, base for it and I see it's a US Navy Polaris missile and what's interesting about this is that not all of the bases had the same uh, tag on it here so I think that topping models made different ones to have uh, to show who they were from or if they were being gifted to certain executives. So this one's from the Polaris missile team. And we see here that this one, it used to have, it was like a plastic piece that made it look like it was water. And the reason for that was that the Polaris missile would be fired from a submarine. So they had made it so it looked like water and then the missile would sit right in the middle of it. Unfortunately, that piece is missing. And we see on the bottom here, actually it says topping models. And so when we look at the actual model here, one thing that I thought was neat was it's not just a static model because the Polaris missile was a two-stage missile uh, topping went ahead and made it so it could come apart and we see there's one part there so you could get a general idea of the show I guess and this would be the first stage and this would be the second stage of it there's a little more unusual. Most of the topping models really weren't made to to be taken apart and show how it would work. So it took a little more work on their part. And this is uh, one of the topping models. It's certainly a very desirable piece, even though it is missing the part to make it look like the water. So, And I think that one ran around early 60s. And the second one here is one that was actually uh, involved NASA. It's for uh, General Dynamics. And we see it says, uh, is it Man in Space for NASA, the Convair Division? Again, you know, unfortunately, all these models that I got from this estate auction were not stored very well. I don't know if they were stored out in this garage or in a basement. So a little bit rough on the condition, unfortunately. Well, you see this one, unlike the Polaris, this one is really just one static piece. It doesn't come apart. But it's still a very, uh, very fairly rare topping model. You know, some of the topping models, they made so many of them. And so many different people had them that they aren't worth a lot of money. But this one, because it relates to NASA, and because it's from, I think, 1961, is the year that they had the catalog for topping that this was in. And we see that it had, had a few extra pieces that would have extended out here on the end that unfortunately broke off. But both of those very rare... Well, I don't know, very rare, but pretty rare for topping models. And so I hope you've enjoyed watching this short video on a couple of these models. And if you have, I encourage you to subscribe. I've got another video up showing one of the rocket dying engine models that was made by topping. And so I encourage you to go check that out and subscribe. And thanks for watching.